hello guys welcome back to the channel and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe the channel that now just focus on this one so let's jump into the postman first and meanwhile we can start our power bi so here uh, if you see we have this method and this is a post call and uh, this is our url and uh, we have the body and let's send it let's see what is the status here oh, it's okay and we have our json data is ready now so this is working fine so this is a post call and it is working fine and i don't need authorization you see here there is no auth is there okay and now uh, let's see the output here so we have this is a json output and uh, let's see we will try this header information uh, we'll extract this header information and show into the table that's our goal for now let's jump here let's say get data now what you need to do if you want to make a post call okay or gate call if you want so you have o data or web method or the third one is like you can use blank query let's select that blank query now you find here we are into the power query editor and we'll go to advanced editor here and we'll have this uh, source information okay so what should be your source that is the goal here you have to define your source okay so for that let's go one by one here first of all this one variable you can consider like URL and it's having the main URL okay so it's your main URL for the call post call then you have a body okay so that body will contain your body part like some method post method this something whatever you want to write there or it might be some uh, values or something you want to post on your API now this is enough for now this is very simple demo okay now your source what is your source so your source is basically json dot document so this is the method and it will returns the content of the json document okay and you will find what it needs json text as any and encoding so this is the basic information you will find and then in this we need to call web dot contains okay and here we will pass three arguments url header and content for now there are more parameters are there for just for now let's focus on this one only so this is the structure and it's a very simple you need a url you need your body you will have these two methods json.document web.content so this will uh, web dot con in web dot content you have to pass url header and here you will have content type it's very simple header and your content now here it's important but like you need to call another method if or you, whatever you call it okay that is text dot to binary okay you need to convert this thing into binary so and in that we are passing our body part that's this is the important thing okay so this is done now let's say done here see what will happen okay so we are ready it's not asking me anything okay so it's like a uh, authentication we don't have mention about any authentication so it's a uh, null so we don't need it simple now convert your records header records this is what I want into my table and this is done so now my query one is ready okay and say close and apply so it will load and uh, we will show that data into table so it is it's a straightforward I will say if you have anonymous login and if you have credentials then wait for the next video okay so okay it's loaded now and we'll have this two name and value and it's loaded okay so this is how it's it's in ascending order top to bottom so this data we have 
uploaded now so this is it for this video thank you guys do like share and subscribe and write down your comments we'll try to cover your scenario it might be a sequel or it might be a logical solution or you need a like a, how you want to call api or what should mean you, you need to do in different scenarios or any queries okay so you can write down your queries and we'll try to get back to you there thank you have a nice day bye bye